It was 100 years ago that British archaeologists discovered an ancient stairway hidden for more than 3,000 years beneath the sands of Egypt's Valley of the Kings. 22 days later, archaeologists descended those stairs, lit a candle, poked it through a hole in a blocked doorway, and waited as his eyes grew accustomed to the dim light. Details of the room within emerged slowly from the mist. Strange animals, statues, and gold, everywhere the glint of gold, wrote Carter, the archaeologist. I was struck dumb with amazement. When Carter's patron anxiously asked if Carter could see anything, the stunned archaeologist replied, yes, wonderful things. Carter and the archaeologists had found the lost tomb of Tutankhamun, the boy king of Egypt, who was buried in a small and overlooked tomb in 1323 BC. King Tut may not have been a mighty ruler like Rameses the Great, whose tomb complex covers more than 8,000 square feet of underground chambers. But unlike Rameses and other pharaohs, King Tut's treasures hadn't been looted or damaged by floods. They were nearly intact. A century later, the discovery of King Tut's tomb, which contained more than 5,000 priceless artifacts, remains the greatest archaeological find of all time. I don't think there's anything that can hold a candle to it in terms of outright richness, and in terms of the cultural and archaeological information that it contains, says Tom Muller, a journalist who wrote a National Geographic article about Carter's historic discovery and the opening of Cairo's Grand Egyptian Museum, the new home for King Tut's treasures. Here are nine fascinating artifacts recovered from King Tut's tomb, from the biggest finds to some hidden treasures. 1. An Iron Dagger On the surface, this iron-bladed dagger doesn't look like a spectacular find, but King Tut died several centuries before the start of the Iron Age, when advances in technology allowed for the forging of iron and steel from mineral deposits. During King Tut's time, the few iron objects on record were made from metals that literally fell from the heavens in the form of meteorites. There were theories that the iron dagger was a gift from a foreign king who would have presented it as a gift from the gods. A solid gold dagger with a decorated sheath was also found in the folds of King Tut's mummy placed ceremoniously on his right thigh. 2. I scarf with a surprise. When the archaeologists entangled the scarf, they found several gold rings inside. But how did they get in there? From other clues, it became clear to Carter that King Tut's tomb hadn't remained completely untouched. Thieves must have broken in soon after the tomb was sealed and made off with the smallest and most valuable items they could carry, like gold jewelry. Unlike other pharaonic tombs, which had been fully ransacked over the centuries, King Tut's tomb had only been lightly looted. The scarf packed with gold rings was evidence that the thieves may have even been caught in the act or scared off by guards and left their loot behind. It was hastily packed into a box when the tomb was resealed, not to be opened for another 3,200 years. 3. A game of chance and fate. Egyptians played board games, and one of King Tut's favorites was a game called Senate. Historians don't agree on the exact rules of the checkers-like game but it involved moving your game piece through a series of 30 squares by throwing knuckle bones or casting sticks. The Egyptian Book of the Dead, which details the journey of the soul through the afterlife, says that playing Senate is a popular pastime for the deceased. Eternal life may even have been at stake. 4. King Tut's Lost Daughters One of the reasons why King Tut fell through the cracks of Egyptian history was that his reign was so short and he didn't leave behind any heirs or offspring. But thanks to Carter's discovery, we know that King Tut's wife Anki's Naman whom he married at age 12 bore two stillborn daughters who were buried in their father's tomb. Inside an unmarked box, Carter's team found two tiny wooden coffins, each bearing a gilded inner coffin that contained the mummified remains of King Tut's daughters. The fetuses appeared to be 25 and 37 weeks old and died from unknown causes. Archaeologists also found a lock of King Tut's grandmother's hair in the tomb, which may have been a family keepsake. 5. Gold Sandals These were King Tut's golden court sandals, ornately decorated footwear that he's seen wearing in some of the statuettes found in the tomb. Made from wood and overlaid with bark, leather, and gold, 
The eye-catching pots are the soles of the sandals, which depict the nine traditional enemies of Egypt. That wasn't an accident. He'd be symbolically walking on their faces all day. Thousands of years before King Tut, at the dawn of Egyptian civilization, powerful rulers were buried with their royal servants, who sacrificed their lives to serve their master in the eternities. By the late Middle Kingdom, human servants were replaced by small figurines called Dushabdi, who were inscribed with a magical spell to forever do the deceased's bidding in the afterlife. For the average Egyptian burial, one or two Shabdi were placed in the deceased's tomb. In King Tut's tomb, there were 413 Shabdi, a small army of foot all figurines made from various materials including fans, a glass-like pottery with striking colors. Some of King Tut's Shabdi held copper tools like yokes, hoes, and picks to do manual labor for the pharaoh in the afterlife. 7. King Tut's Undergarments not every treasure in King Tut's tomb was made of gold. The young pharaoh, who died at 19 after just 9 or 10 years on the throne, was also buried with some of his clothing. Among the ancient textiles found in the tomb were 100 sandals, 12 tunics, 28 gloves, 25 head coverings, 4 socks, and 145 loincloths triangular-shaped pieces of woven linen that both men and women wore as underwear. 8. A dazzling resting place for the king's organs. During the mummification process, Egyptian embalmers carefully removed the lungs, liver, intestines, and stomach from the body, embalmed the organs, and placed them in vessels called canopic jars. The final resting place for King Tut's organs was one of the most exquisite objects in the entire tomb. Carter found Tut's canopic jars stored inside an alabaster chest itself housed within a magnificent wooden funerary shrine covered in gold leaf. What really struck the researchers when they saw the golden shrine in person were the four Egyptian goddesses of death guarding the young pharaoh's embalmed organs on all sides. The goddesses Isis, Nephthys, Neith, and Selkit are depicted in naturalistic poses with form-fitting dresses that inspired flapper fashion in the 1920s. 9. The Iconic Golden Mask with trembling hands, Carter opened the golden coffin and found himself face to face with the iconic funerary mask of Tutankhamun. The 22-pound solid gold mask rested directly on the head and shoulders of King Tut's mummy and portrayed the handsome young king as Osiris, complete with the pharaonic false beard. The golden mask of King Tut is probably the best known and most widely recognized archaeological treasure ever. King Tut's mummy when carefully removed and unwrapped, contained 143 different amulets, bracelets, necklaces, and other priceless artifacts among its ancient bandages. So, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to never miss one again, and we'll see you next time.